good night guys good night so let's get straight into tonight's discussion we know i want to see the whole situation going on with this whole bag and hundred dollar and you know the whole nine yards so tonight we're going to talk about miss donna auntie donna we're going and hannah from blessing of the flow and mom j also known as jackie and the donor so in this little discussion here is four people when you don't get mixed up now this whole thing start from miss donna just putting out a general you know she give a general statement and how to run your charity and she just giving suggestions and what you think other charity should follow by and which they must do so miss donna make it clear say you know, certain little things should be a little run down on what the do's and the don'ts and the in and the out of charity and all of it taking about the money and all of the good things and all of that. Well, anyhow, she made some specific examples that apparently it affect two people in it in specifically two people. Mom J also known as Jackie, and we even call her Jackie, because then I refer to her as Jackie when she did a talk. Jackie, the donor, and Anna. Although Donna did not call Anna's name, but after Anna listened to the video and hear what Miss Donna was saying, she, you know, anybody can put one and one together. Mm hmm. Put one on one together and know if I use somebody at talk or not. Even though Miss Donna said she never called Anna name and she never knows say Anna did do not talk. Come on. You might never know say Anna did do not talk. But Anna I gonna know if I she did do not talk because everything that you mentioned match up to Donna. Match up to not Donna, match up to but she named Anna, so Anna went automatically know say I must she this a talk about, and then she mentioned Jackie and who got foreign and get hundred dollar for buy a bag and buy a bag and it never cost hundred dollar. Then only enough to say cost hundred dollar. That was Donna's words, but she was just being vague. She never called no name, and she you know she was just giving out examples. But anyhow, Miss Jackie know say. It was she who buy the bag and it was she who tell the donor that the bag was she buy cost a hundred dollar. Now apparently I don't want to cut and go through and miss nothing, you know. So apparently Anna watched Miss Donna's live and she saw where Miss Donna was talking and making reference to the bag, making reference to a specific donor that was venting about the bag, and she also make reference to Miss Jackie. And then I make it clear say it is two women. Mm -hmm. It's two women, and it two of them do charity. So, in a take a rocket science, we figure out that oh, 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 oh. Once you hear the story, and you hear the situation and you hear the examples not all of them but some of the some of the examples that were made anybody would not know if of them are not fair enough she never called no name when i got some then i did say i this is somebody i that is somebody she never called on a name but common sense now come on it's just common sense we know say are you because dana anna watch a video and she addressed it. Mm -hmm. She got up on her live. And she addressed it. And to make it be known that. She, the lady did indeed. Ask Jackie. Who is mom J's. To buy the bag for her. And the bag. Mom J said the bag cost $100. So when mom J reached back to Jamaica from foreign. She vice note the lady and tell the lady say the cost of the bag was hundred dollar. But when Mom J do wrong as so now, you know, is she should an show a receipt, she should and save a receipt, take a picture of the receipt or something. Cause when you are angry money for nobody at all, you have to have some type of proof for back up your own self, you know. 
just for back up yourself because mm -hmm. i bet you never know that this day gonna come out on social media even though this donor talk to donna in confidence and in private everybody know that donna not hold on no donna not hold her mouth and she said all the time she a fridge and she can't even keep her own a secret so if anybody will feel like so they feel confide in a donna and tell donna certain things they must know better they, anything happen after that you can't even blame miss donna because guess what who no know who Dana is. Who no know who Dana no keep secret for nobody. Not even for herself. And she say it all the time. She no keep no secret for not even herself. So we can't blame her for come out and talk. And she come out and address it. But she did not. She did not call nobody name. But you know all that go already. But anyway. And I came out and did a live. And to be honest and to be fair and frank. And I was not disrespectful about it. She was not loud and vulgar and outraged about it. She just spoke. She did not disrespect Dana neither. Because she make it no say. She not blame Dana. Because Dana going to be Dana. And Dana just uh, you know, really the message was she get it. So she can't blame Dana. And she not blame Dana. But anyhow. I feel like say. All of this couldn't be avoided. <laughs> If Miss Dana never mentioned nothing, but no, but no, 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 bag and sitting, it wouldn't, all of this couldn't come out. And then Anna said she knows that she did not talk when it comes to the picture because she was the one who sent that particular donor a picture of she and her little daughter when they were at the hotel. So she said she did send a picture to the donor. But she seemed to have the donor as a friend or her close. And that had a mistake with Anna make. And I must remember that these donors are not your friends. They're there. They watch your program. They see what go on. And if they feel like donate or them art, art string get tugged by a certain situation and them assist they're not your friend even if them become big donors and you know high 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 money ball a donor you still don't friend them i know your friend and if you are friends with them or you feel like you know are friends and buddy buddy like that still don't ask them for nothing you don't need to ask them for nothing you understand because the moment you call and even get the impression like you have big them something you don't know what I'm going to start thinking about you. So, when they come out and talk, you know, they say, who the cap fit? Let them wear it. And the cap fit Anna, and she wear it. But she wasn't um, vulgar about her, 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 her life. She come out very humble about it. So that was good. She never bashed Anna, she never cussed, and she never ran, and she never reeled. Instead, she were, she, she seemed to be more upset with the donor yes she seemed to be more upset with the donor because she said she did not ask the donor for anything the donor was the one who decided to 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 send her something she didn't ask for it and in miss jackie's life miss jackie also said that the donor that, that Anna didn't ask the donor of anything. The donor was the one who reached out to Miss Jackie. Mm -hmm. These are the words from Miss Jackie's mouth. She said the donor reached out to her when she was in New York. Or, well, she never said New York, Malai. When she was in a big foreign. Two days before she leave. And she said she wanted to send something for Anna. Now the donor... Never say Anna beggar or anything. She never tell Miss Jackie that. She says she want to send something for Anna. And she didn't want Miss Jackie to tell Anna. So maybe it was a surprise then. So Miss Jackie said, all right. What she must do, what she must buy. So Miss Jackie now don't know what Anna like. So she called Anna and asked Anna, what would you, allegedly, this is what Miss Jackie said she did. She called Anna from Farin. And she asked Anna, what must she buy? Mm -hmm. 
why she must buy and care for him because somebody want to send something for her this is anna a lot of fun doggy so anna tell her she shouldn't like a bag yes anna said she don't like a bag so jackie end up buying the bag no in jackie buying the bag was she the donor didn't give jackie the money jackie buy the bag for fear and money yeah and then get reimbursed from the donor she said the donor tell her say never give her a price cap this is anna from blessing after floor she said the donor did not give her any price gap on how much money to spend she said if we just buy something Anna like so Anna said she wouldn't like a bag so Miss Jackie buy the bag and send her the price and tell her say the bag cost hundred dollar but upon arriving to Jamaica it seems as if the donor never pleased with something she never pleased because she asked Miss Jackie for send her a picture of the bag. She did. She asked Miss Jackie for send a video of the bag. She did. Mm hmm She did. But it looked like the donor never think the bag worth hundred dollar. Because even though the donor get a picture and a video from Miss Jackie already at the bag. She still asked Anna to send her a picture. This is according to Anna. According to Anna, she said, Miss Jackie, send the donor a picture already. And the donor still asked she to send a picture too. So she never understand. But she said, you know, whatever. She send it, she buy it for her. I don't know if she take a picture and send it to her and show her what the bag look like. And she expressed how she liked the bag and she loved the bag and she appreciated the bag. Right? But anyhow, when she send a picture to the donor, when she send a picture of the bag to the donor, the donor insists that she wanted a video as well. So she wanted a video of the bag as well. Right? So the donor get a video of the bag. And it looked like so the donor not please. Cause when she and I said when she get the video the box, she say the video not 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 clear enough. So Anna must slow down the video or whatnot. So Anna said she start get annoyed now. But anyhow, when they hear all of this come out on social media you now, Anna is get worse or annoyed. Cause she said, Oh, so the donor never send you with a good and willing heart and all of that and so forth and so sad. So in this case, I want to think about the donor, guys, because if you send something to somebody, it never did have to reach to Miss Dana, to be honest. It never did have to reach to Miss Dana, for Miss Dana can come upon our life and discuss it, you know? You send something to somebody, you send it with a willing heart, if you feel like it never costs a hundred dollar, you mention it to Miss Jackie, you say, Jackie, you say a hundred dollar, you pay for the bag, but me not think you worth hundred dollar. You can please send me a receipt or what? Because the, the bag might not cost $100 and it might cost $80 and change left. Right? Maybe. Yeah. I'm just assuming. I'm not saying that's how it go. Maybe that's what the donor is thinking. Did the bag really cost $100 flat? <laughs> Did it cost $101, $102? Did it cost $80? Was the bag $50? Was the bag $60? So... And then probably then something that got through the donor head and the donor might feel like she gets swindled or she gets scammed but those are all questions and concerns that she should have asked miss jackie instead of being upset and going to miss donna to vent about it she, she, she should not just call the woman when she tells her about the gift and, and confront her, ask her, how much did you really pay for the bag? Did the bag really cost $100 or did it cost $90? Want to me $10 or did it cost $50? Want to me $50? Because obviously, the donor don't think it cost $100. Mm hmm Because that cause the problem, you know. Mm hmm And, excuse me, guys. And that cause the problem. It seems as if the donor not, not, not feel like they are $100 like for the bag. Mm-hmm. I know Miss Jackie upset to Kashia say 
well, the donor should and you know confront she or ask her or whatever, cause she see a hundred dollars she pay for the bag and whatnot, right? So in all said and done, Miss Donna come back out again and make a next live today, and I say she never call Anna name, and she never know say Anna. But Miss Donna need to recall and remember say in her original life she did say is too charity person and she said end up on vice record so we don't know if Donna you know forget what she say or whatever because something I just when you love talk you know you will forget to say something you know and as much as my love Donna Donna love to talk Donna don't keep them nothing <laughs> Donna don't hold nothing and some of the time you know she says she has fridge and so but we must know what to say and what not to say. And when we're bringing out something or when we're discussing something, we must sometimes take a, take a step back and think. Don't just blur things out of your mouth because you're in the moment. Don't just blur things out of your mouth because, you know, you're giving a point and you, you, you just try to get your point across. Think about how it's going to affect the other person and think about how the other person is going to accept what you're saying. Think about how it's coming across. Is it coming off too harsh? Is it coming off too negative? Is it coming off, you know, watch how you, you we, we your words and how you, how, how you deliver things, how you deliver message. And sometimes Donna delivers her messages in a very raw way, you know, and I don't think... She intentionally means any harm. It's just her way of it's just her way of speaking. It's her way of talking. And even when she don't mean it, um, it might come off, you know, a little bit rough or a little bit rigid. But that's just done for you. Mm -hmm. That's just done for you. But honestly, the live that Dana did earlier today, addressing it that she never called nobody name. And stuff like that you know sometimes we have to just watch what we say and sometimes we must just leave things alone because that life in my opinion as much as me love Donna and whatever the case may be may go split justice when justice must be split that life was not necessary because one that second life proved absolutely nothing that second life kind of twists up what she say. She twists her up, twists up her mouth. She forget what she said at the first life and contradict things. So she could not just, you know, leave it alone. It come out already. And yeah, say, I never dismiss Maria. And I never dismiss Maria. And one man involved in it too. All of that not really necessary. Because in my opinion, that is only going to start more drama. And only bring this thing to further than it needs to go because this no need to go no further than wait they know because Anna said she sent by the hundred dollar she sent the donor who tell Miss Jackie to buy the bag for her she sent by the donor the hundred dollar so in other words the bag that Anna have now is technically her bag yeah I fear her bag because she pay a fee she sent by the donor the hundred dollar so if the donor was skeptic and didn't think it was under for the bag. Well, now she never really have to worry about nothing whether if she get receipt or not. She don't have to worry now because Anna sent her back hundred dollar. So the hundred dollar was she sent to Jackie for the bag, Anna sent it back to her to her Zell. So that means everything quits now. So everything can done now. So hopefully, mm hmm. May I go say hopefully? Cause you know sometimes people don't know when to stop. People don't know if it's done and people don't know if you call it a quits. So hopefully they don't come back again and you hear another live because somebody has got on live but talk about this again. Then I come out and do a second live. Hopefully Anna don't come and do a second or Miss Miss Jackie. Miss Jackie come and do her live and she make it clear she's not into social media bra. She's not going to address anything else because she's just not like that. And Anna, we all know Anna. Before she get baptized, she will string it up and hang it out. But how she addressed the situation the other night, I must applaud her. She did not come out vulgar and she never did a bash Dana and a cuss Dana. Because Dana 
basically they just a try she just there yeah, you know give out a word of advice and the do's and the don't but we all know dana style of talking mm-hmm we know it mm-hmm a lot of us can play hypocrite because we love dana oh yes we all love her she's great she's awesome she is awesome she's done a lot of good things and god bless our soul we love her we just love her and sometimes as we jamaicans we <laughs> we love somebody to the point where ah when they do something wrong or ah when they do they make a mistake or ah when they go about something the wrong way we free it we say it or not so we are we don't free it we say it, but we just know uh, you know we don't want to tell them say all right you could address this little bit or you could answer this little bit or the delivery you could and different because we just love them so we love them till we fool so we know see we, we're blinded by when you know they might go about something the wrong way which can be hurtful to the person as well because it better you love somebody but when you see a speed you call it a speed you know if you see she go the wrong way say dana calm down buckle up you know if you address it so are you know that we are there? Yes. And that no means that we hate her. That no means that we dislike her. That no means that I know we favor it the same way. It just simply means that we love her so much that we want her to, you know, make the right decisions and do the right thing. And we don't want her to come off looking with any old, you know, way. Mm-hmm. So, guys, this whole mm-hmm, bag and $100, it's kind of petty. And it's between four <laughs> grown women four grown women we don't know who the donor is she's anonymous although anna didn't mention her name but at this point the three men the three main important people in this whole story is miss dana mom j and and blessing of the floor anna there are three charities so you know the, the the eyes are on them more than the donor the donor is kind of in the background and that is what Dana is talking about as well. You have to be careful of these donors. You and Dona are not friends. And she said, donors and you are not friends. So don't ever make the mistake and think, say, you and a donor are friends. And anything a donor do for you, as Dana always say, come out for your life. Just like when you come out in your life and ask for help for people, come up for your life and tell the people them, say, John Brown give me this or John Brown give me that because you see if anybody come up on her life and mention say Donna did give me one bag or Donna did send Jackie with one bag for me or Donna did tell Jackie to buy one bag for me and the bag Jackie say a hundred dollar for the bag or whatever when this come out now you know when Miss Donna come out and make mention of this bag argument Say so Donna call an event, bought the bag and bought the money. It would have been a surprise to anybody because people don't say, but Anna didn't mention so she sent a bag. So I want to say she call her tell Donna. It would not blow out of proportion. But you see, because it wasn't mentioned, and this is what I think Donna tried to teach these other charities. These other charities that come out and doing charities now. Be as transparent as you can. Be very transparent with people's money. Be very transparent with every transaction that you're doing to cover your own self. Because donors can get you in a trouble. Donors will record you. Donors will say this and that. Say how it go plus how it not go. You have to cover your own butt. You have to be careful. And I think that is what Donna did at try if you tell them. It's just that she might come off look a rough, but she not tell them nothing wrong. It might come off offensive towards them, yes, but she not telling them anything wrong. Everything that Donna was saying on her life about the whole, don't do this, don't do that, no take no money for nobody and no talk about it, no go sit down in a hotel and, and somebody send you, don't send you hot money if you go to hotel and you don't talk about it. Because when you do that, you're setting up yourself to feel. You are set up yourself for the same donor who sponsor you or give you no money if you go anywhere at all. If you come out and talk and use it against you. You don't know these people, you know? Mm-hmm. You don't know them donors here from Adams. Them see a situation, 
they might like you or whatever they donate to you but some of them don't donate willingly some of them donate with an intentions and that's the thing we have to look at too some of them donate with intentions and then i say it all the time which is the reason why if it's a dollar a donor said if it's a two dollar if it's a five dollar then i call out the donor name and she call the donor and me can't wrong her because once you do that there's no way your name can call in a banger wrong no way at all your name can call in a banger wrong because it's a bug argument yeah Mm -hmm. this bug argument wouldn't be an argument right now it would even be an issue it wouldn't be a topic because there would be nothing to talk about if Anna had mentioned it say yes she get one bag for her gift from one particular donor even if she not call the donor name she can't mention say she did get a bag or whatever the case may be but when you get things from donors you keep it hush hush and silent and you push in your pocket and you take it and you put it in one corner where you and the donor alone know you're setting up yourself for failure and then, that, then I try to teach them. Then I try to teach them, say, don't set yourself up for failure with them donor here. The donor then donate to a cause, and that's it. The money your body, the money your friend, the money your family. They're not responsible for your light bill. They're not responsible for your gas bill. They're not responsible for your. They don't responsible for you, none at all. So even with the picture where Anna she sent to the donor, with she and her daughter at the hotel. Then I make reference to that too. She said, don't send. She never called Anna name, but she make reference. Don't send the donors. They no picture of you and you and your people them. Because they're going to automatically think, say, I saw me a big. Now send a picture with you and your family or your people. I'm going to tell them, say, are your birthday or whatever or whatever or whatnot. Because they're going to automatically think, say, I saw me a want. You understand? Which is why you send them the picture. Even if you just send a picture because you and the person usually have casual conversations mm -hmm, and you feel like you and the person are friends, then I got things here, something you want when you send them that. Mm -hmm. So then I was just making it you know, clear and some of the do's and the don'ts in what to do and what not to do. And it turned out into this. So now, you have done a come out a clearer ear and a clearer name and I say she never call Anna name so she don't know how Anna pick it up but she have to understand that even though you never call Anna name if Anna if you are the person in the situation and you hear it being discussed on social media you're going to know if it's you or not you don't have to call a person name for them to know if you're talking to them while some things might be in general and goes for everybody when you mention that if i do want to give you a hundred dollar and tell you say buy a bag for your smart face a person and the bag don't cost hundred dollar don't tell the donor say it costs hundred dollar yes that's kind of specific you know so if there's a specific situation like that did that did went down between two persons or between a donor and a charity runner them are going to know say them. You understand? Them are going to know say them. Mm-hmm. I know mean, Donna did that. I can probably say she has said this in general and she not call on it. She just give example. But the example was too direct. And the other thing is that the fact that she said a donor called her and was venting to her and telling her about another particular charity person who she Give one to tell to do this or tell to do that. The maga know. The maga know say them you got your talk. The maga know say this this situation is between you know those three parties, Anna, Jackie, and the donor. So only part then I play at this is to come out and say, say this and say that. Mm -hmm. Cause some of the things when mother I say, Anna say it 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 hit. It was very direct. You know, it was very, well, some was vague and some was just pretty general in general. Some of the stuff that Dana mentioned in the do's and the don'ts was very, very direct. Even like when she said, don't get up and run marathon every day. You know, if if Anna knows that she run marathon every day, she going to automatically say, I mean, she attacking a car, me run marathon every day. And if Dana say, don't get up and run marathon every day, and then the next day you're gone in a hotel, 
people going to think say a marathon money and if and I say backside me do run marathon and then the next day I did Lexi birthday or Ufa birthday and we did go 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 resort the next day or whatever but me did I know the money she going she going to know say a she there's certain examples that were too specific for the person not to know that it was them you understand so even when then I say I never she or if she say I never she she can't say that because if the person I gonna know say I did them because the examples some of the examples that you you spoke about was very direct you know you didn't have to call any name once the person hear the example the mother gonna know say I did them mm-hmm mm-hmm because if me know say me give my the hundred dollar and tell them to so buy a bag or if me know say me tell a woman say buy a bag for the person there and the woman tell me box your hundred dollar it did cost and the, the story just sound like a your story you're going to know say are you the only difference is that no names are being called but that is your story being discussed so if you plug in yourself now you automatically know say are your story are you the person i'm talking about and just not call the name so guys we can we can talk about this on and on and on and on. I hope nobody I talk too fast. Come and talk fast sometimes, you know. So I hope nobody I talk too fast <laughs> that you cannot understand me. But my point is, when you're gonna, especially when it comes to money. You see, when it comes to money, guys, any type of transaction, be as transparent as possible. Cause all of this could have been avoided if Miss Jackie did buy the bag. Whatever the bag costs, send the receipt to the donor. Because the donor say, why Miss Jackie never call her? The donor say, why you never call my auntie to buy the bag? And Miss Jackie I say, because she never have no Wi-Fi upon the road. She only have Wi-Fi when she's at home, you know. I visit her to foreign, so she probably didn't have no Wi-Fi upon her phone. So she never have no Wi-Fi because her plan did done. Mm-hmm. It was her last two days of foreign. So she go buy the bag and she go home. She never call her or video call her whatever while she was buying a bag. But my thing is that next time Miss Jackie take a picture of the bag. Take a picture of the that would be the smart thing to do anyways. Cause if I'm doing something for somebody, the smart thing to do, I would if this are the first thing more than the more than a video this tour. More than the video this tour, more than the video the different type of bag them were in at this tour and the price them, more than video the bag with the price tag pan it, when I video the bag with the price, when I video the receipt, when the cashier give me my receipt, when I video everything for sure proof say, yes, my buy the bag and the bag cost this. That is where Miss Jackie went wrong in all of this. And I don't know if it was intentional or what, but next time when you do something like this, Miss Jackie, try to be as transparent as possible. Because that is was just a big old that that no mistake they never did if you have cause common sense that if you ask me. Me not judge Miss Jackie or anything, but that's common sense. When you go do things like that, you have to charity, so you're supposed to know say. You're supposed to cover yourself. So if a donor tell us if you buy a bag or buy a this or buy whatever and tell her the cost. It's just common sense that the person going wanna know or want to see. The person going to want to see what's the cost. Where your pay feet? We spot your body bag. Where the receipt? Nothing so. Just high and dry and send her. Yes, when they reach Jamaica, yes, and her advice and said the cost was one hundred dollars. That's it. The cost was one hundred dollars for the bag. I guess they don't say she was upset because of your tone and because you just you never sure or not you just said the cost was one hundred dollars in the vice note, you keep it short and sassy that's it and she never like your tone so she start question things well me can't wrong you doing a question thing you thing me wrong you doing with is figure um call miss dana and have vent to miss dana she call the wrong person to vent to she shouldn't or miss dana call she or however it want or who call whatever conversation was had you know you shouldn't just call miss jackie and express to her say you did want to see the receipt or you, you, you know, think if the bag were that or whatever the case is, you understand? Mm-hmm. Look at the moment you call Miss Dana and tell Miss Dana that you never know some Miss Dana going company mode, going to go and chop. She will company life contact. Mm-hmm. Uno sister, she don't own nothing. Uno sister, she no business when she attacks, she just talk. So if you know, 
if you had a a a a a a, a dispute or you feel a certain type of way about Miss Jackie and how she handled the whole situation with the bag and not kept you involved enough, the right person to call was Miss Jackie, not Miss Dana. Mm-hmm. And as for Anna, Anna must make sure that she not begging donor there. Nothing. Don't ask them for anything. Don't imply that she need anything. When she do her charity, ask for help for just the people, not herself, not your car gas, not your fear tire, not for nothing at all. Yes, not for nothing at all. Because allegedly, Dana said their voice note with people, charity, ladies, on the voice note asking for things. And Miss Jackie say. I know she. Mm-hmm. Mom dear, make it clear say it's not she. She no ask nobody for nothing. So you only leave if you think it's Dana. Not Dana, I am boy Dana. It only if you think I say if it's not Miss Miss Jackie, then it's Hannah. So she need to be careful. Don't ask people for things. Don't tell people it's Hannah or nothing. Even if I them suggest it and I them you know, ask her. She fi say no. And every gift a good gift and an every gift. Your feet take. So I rest my case there, guys. Have a good night. Have a blessed night. And as usual, wanna stay safe. Bless up on yourself.